Hey guys, this is John. This video is an advice video. This is for the people who are students or potential students who are Indian. The thing is that there's not a real guide out there and I've taught every single race, maybe because I'm short and more relatable. Now having said that, right? Um, since I taught every race, I kind of know that I don't teach all the students exactly the same way. I would never teach an Asian, like an Asian guy the same way I would teach a white guy. As I would never teach a Spanish guy the same way I teach a black guy. I would never teach an Indian student the same way I teach a black student. I would never teach a white student the same way I teach an Asian student. Everything is adapted, you know, to you. It's all customized. However, this video is for people who are Indians. And I do have some advice based on what I've noticed. Okay, the first thing we're gonna cover is we're gonna cover fashion. Over here is Indian. Um, a lot of people think because you have lighter complexion, you're not. Mm, yeah. Say something, you know, say something in their language so that way they know for sure that you're not fucking joking. Okay, so by look, some Yeah, see, he is Indian. <laughs> so he has made a lot of adaptations from before. As you can see, his hairstyle, you know, it's been improved. Take a look at the side. We won't say exactly, turn, turn your head to the side. We won't say exactly what kind of hairstyle we're using. It doesn't matter because my students will know exactly everything. Aesthetically, this hairstyle works for everyone around the entire world. All of European students, all my students in Asia, everyone in Vancouver uses one hairstyle. It's not like, let's adjust the hairstyle, there's only one that works. And it works universally. This, that's that my first advice is to change your hair. Tell me, what do Indian people in general usually do with their hair? You know, it starts with a C. C. Coconut oil. Okay, yeah. first of all, coconut, coconut oil is good for hair growth, okay? Because I use a lot of coconut oil and he doesn't like it. And okay. my hair gets bad, right? Yeah. That consistency is not the same as pomade that mm -hmm. we're using. Coconut oil is not your friend. I know your parents, they usually say, oh, be a good boy, have some coconut oil from left to right, your hair. Is that right? They do, they do that in India. Yeah, yeah, we use coconut oil since we're children. Yeah. Having said that, um, no, you can't use the same kind of clothing as a kid, like your mom dresses you. Because you, when you look at all the other dating coaches, let's just be real here. All the white dating coaches, all these so-called advanced guys, it looks like their mother dressed them. You, you all know it. You can't do that. So the second thing we're talking about is fashion. The very common fashion you see is usually a pink flannel dress shirt. Am I right? Yeah. What, what's more, with the pink? More like a dress shirt, mm -hmm. pink, super light colors, mm -hmm. super light pink, super light blue, super light yellow, orange. Yes. These are the office shirts, like when people in India go to workplaces, employees, mm -hmm. they wear it in India. And this is uh, the lowest class or lower middle class. Okay. Representation. Yeah. That makes sense because I was always wondering where does this pink come from, but it's actually um, a work shirt, it seems. If this is a work shirt, this is not something you want to wear to day game. You gotta think for day game, when you dress nicer, right? Like when you dress nicer and shit, sorry, my necklace should have shown up to the party. Now it finally does. You should dress nicer because it's like a uniform. When you go to work, you wear a uniform, right? Police officer has a uniform, right? Everyone has a uniform. Doctors have a uniform. But when you day game, you should think that you have a uniform. Doesn't mean you need a million fucking uniforms like me, but you need a day game uniform. As an Indian guy, the pink flannel shirt, right? With a baggy jacket and you know, the jeans. Let's talk about the jeans. The, the baggy jeans that taper into that leg. No way. 90% of Indian people wear it. Yeah. Glasses. Okay. Nerd looking glasses. Mm -hmm. Super ugly hairstyle. Curled coconut oil. Left to right, right to Unibrow. left. Unibrow. Unibrow. Yes. And lots of hair on the side too. Yes. Yeah. Why? Not groomed beard. Yes. Uh, yeah. We'll talk beard about is beard never too. groomed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's all uneven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then. Uh, Smelling super bad, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, they don't use we'll deodorants. Talk about, we'll talk about they that don't too. use deodorants, or if they use, Indian people use it on their clothes, not on their body. Okay, okay. And if they use perfume, they use sometimes on their body, not on their clothes. Yeah, the cologne. Yeah, and uh, it's either because if this it's hot outside, they wear sleeveless underarm hair. Yeah, it's EU as fuck. They never wear V-necks. 
They should wear V-necks, but they never wear V-necks. Mm -hmm. T-shirts or shirts with shorts, especially mm -hmm. shorts, especially and sandals all the time. Yes. Why? Or they wear baggy jeans and with sport shoes. Yeah. You're hundred percent right. You couldn't even be more accurate. The way you described it was like poetry. Got even it. a turban too. Even the turban. Yeah. That's what Punjabi people wear. Mm -hmm. uh, but all the religious things, just stay away from it during day game. Yeah, you want to be more whitewashed. I hate to say this. You might say, what's wrong with me? But the girl does not relate to your tribe. So let's break down some of these things, okay? Just the most important things. They don't hang around Indian people in general because it's a negative stereotype. So the first thing is try and make more friends with white people or any other race. It's good. It's not, I'm not saying it's not a good thing, but I'm just saying it's good to be more whitewashed. That's my first advice. Mm -hmm. Number two, unibrow. No, you, a lot of you have a unibrow and I'm going to be politically incorrect and it's going to seem very mean, but the unibrow is not helping you. And most of you don't, you're not even aware that there is actual real unibrow. The eyebrows connect from left to right. Right? You have to pluck that. I had a unibrow before. <laughs> My eyebrows are pretty like thick. Yeah. Sometimes it looks as a unibrow, but before I used to have a lot of unibrow. I thought it was very cool. Unless I noticed the fashion tips and mm -hmm. I thought I should cut it. So once a week I cut it, mm -hmm. but unibrow is very bad. For Indians love unibrows, by the way. They really love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's something I didn't know before. Is there a reason for this? Like, um, they, they're never taught to groom themselves. They think, oh, unibrow is fine. It looks better on man. They yeah. think that. Okay. Here's another thing that I want to talk about is that I had one student. I made him pluck his eyebrows. That's how politically incorrect. In front of like, I made him go to a store and actually do that. It was painful as fuck. But when he did that, you know, he halfway pulled. The very, you know, the very same time. So... For him, he's like, what the fuck? So it was really, really bushy. And the second thing I want to talk about is the beard. Okay? No woman loves your beard. If you look like a negative stereotype, you don't fit into her tribe. But you always think, this is the Indian mindset. The beard is masculine. Well, I always say it depends. Look at what he's doing. He's using a five or six o'clock shadow. It's not super big, but at the same time, it's calibrated. See that? Perhaps... A six o'clock shadow is superior to a big ass beard. Indian guys don't groom their beard. Yeah. So you got to groom the beard. Yeah. Right. Just make it strategic, you know, have some beard fashion, mm -hmm. but don't be a beard whore. That's a good word. Sure. It's a new word now. Yeah. Beard whore. <laughs> you look, you go to Metro town. This is like the middle of the BC, right? And you see a lot of Indian guys walking with their leather jackets and stuff, but they have this big ass beard and hair is growing out of everywhere here. And you know, bro, how are you going to attract women from a white girl tribe? Like if you're into white girls, right? You, if you are not in their tribe, you trigger something called xenophobia, the fear and dislike of other people's culture. Let's talk about the game, okay? A lot of times, you guys don't know your SMV is lower. So mm -hmm. with the accent, I'm not saying 100% is a death sentence, but with an accent, it is harder, a little bit. With an accent, it is very hard. Mm -hmm. Imagine you're a negative stereotype, right? Let's just say you're five foot six and you're a little bit chubby and you have this big beard and you're wearing like, like pink flannel and the baggy jeans that taper down, right? and you're wearing sneakers and you're wearing a very baggy jacket and you go up to a girl and you're just like, oh, excuse me, like real quick. I, I think you look like fashionable. I love the way you look. Okay, you don't fit in her tribe. That's the first thing. Okay, accent aside, you look completely outside of her tribe. She's gonna be scared. Your SMV has gone here, which you think is super high because I got this awesome, hairy, masculinity. It's actually putting you super low. This Indian guy has higher SMV because this is more calibrated. Hmm. But what you're doing, right, is low. And when my students go through the same transformation, it moves it back to high. So yeah. therefore, it doesn't matter you're Indian if you do that. If you look whitewashed, it's less of a problem with the white girls because they will overlook it because you're part of their tribe. Hi everybody, I signed up for John's courses and he has been a crucial part of the success that I've had. I bought his playbook and his modules. 
The modules themselves have been very important in my understanding of the game. There are so many corrections, exercises, and examples in the module that it can take some time to learn all of them. But this is knowledge that you would have never known, and every one of them strengthened my game. I'm Indian, I'm 5'4", and I keep my head shaved because I'm balding. And yet with John's help, I've had two lays and nine total dates in 2019 alone. And only one of them came from online. One of those lays was a girl that I met out while actively gaming. From my genetics and my race, at one point I had thought that I would never get any serious success. But with the information from the products, from John, I've dated women that I thought would never go out with me. John has also contacted me out of the blue to give me tips on my online presence and my fashion, and that has uh, helped me a lot. And it also proves me that he genuinely cares about his clients. So I would recommend John as a coach to you if you're really serious about improving your dating life.